Hello, this is Aaron with ANET Computers from ANETComputers.com for another potential time-saving video. Maybe, maybe not, hopefully. This evening deals with how to scan from an HP Office Jet. I filed this under PC Hardware Installation, as you can see, and then because of SEO, that first part of this title is kind of weird, but HP Printers Office Jet how to scan from HP OfficeJet printer to PC. How to scan from your HP OfficeJet printer to your personal computer. If you haven't done so already, please install HP OfficeJet full feature software and driver from your HP installation CD. If you're missing the software, that software, you can download and install HP OfficeJet software. This was specifically written for an OfficeJet J6480. I had a client that wanted to know how to scan and I wrote these instructions, I sent to them over the internet, it fixed their issue or helped solve their problem or they were then able to scan. So then I decided to write this into up as a virtual abstract blog post. But continuing on, so I have already have this open, this link, and then these are the instructions, but I wanted to go over the overview real quick. This is for HP Office Jet full feature software and driver. This is from HP.com. And no, I don't get paid by HP to talk about their products. I just, if I'm able to help people, I don't, to me, I don't, doesn't matter what the vendor is. But anyways, the, this specific download, as you can see, is quite big, 246 megabytes. And the file name this was probably for the J64 series of HP OfficeJet. So if you have a J64 series, these instructions will help you install software drivers and then learn how to scan. So as you can see, this software version 13 is compatible with every Windows 7 version. Home Basic, Home Premium, Professional Enterprise Ultimate, and Starter. In both 32-bit and 64-bit. And then this is the original software and drivers. And then we'll go to the how to install. If you are using Internet Explorer, you number one, click the download only button. You see the red and then the white, white on red download button I'm highlighting. So you just click on that. And then that'll prompt you. I'm not using Internet Explorer, so I won't be able to run it, but I could save it, but I'm not going to. I just wanted to show you that to make sure, you know, show you that the link works and that it's obviously right there, but click the download, etc. Number two, when a new pop-up window appears, click on the run button. If you're using Internet Explorer, that you will give be given that option, a run or save as. Make sure the printer is not connected. This is very important. You do not want to connect your Office Jet before you install drivers. What can hap What happens is, that, or can, is if you have Windows updates enabled, your Windows computer is going to, see that you hooked up a, an office jet and then it's going to get all excited and it's going to want to install drivers no bueno muy mal no good you're then you think oh oh i've got microsoft drivers oh i'm going to scan 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 away i've got 5000 photos i'm going to scan tonight wrong a lot of times with printers and scanners you have to install the software and drivers first and then you connect the scanner or sometimes you'll install printer scanner software and about midway or it'll prompt you sometimes it'll prompt you so you have to pay attention sometime mid installation it'll ask you oh please now hook up your device so that's very important so make sure you do not connect your office jet 6400 or any office jet to the computer before running this installation depending on your connection speed yes it can take some time because it's 246 megabytes so depending on what kind of internet connection you have it might take you a while number three if an quote user account control unquote pop-up Windows appears, click the continue button. That will be on Vista 7 or 8, UAC. That wasn't functional with Windows XP. If you're using Windows XP, you should not receive that UAC. Vista 7, 8, you might see that pop up. Just click on continue. 
The file is compressed and may take time to extract and run. And it's a pretty big file. Number four, follow the rest of the on-screen instructions. If you're using Firefox, a little bit different but similar, click the download only button up here. And then number two, when a new pop-up window appears, click on the save file button. Depending on your connection speed, the file will take some time to transfer. It's about 246 megabytes, so depending on what kind of internet connection, it can take a long time. Or if you have broadband, it might not take you that long at all. Number three, when the download completes, double-click the most recent file to start the software installation. So you're going to have to go and look for it. It could be in your downloads, or what I like to do is just save it to my desktop, but that's preference. It's up to you where you save it, but... Once again, do not connect the printer before running that installation file. Number four, if an open executable file pop-up window appears, click the OK button. Number five, again, if a UAC user account control pop-up window appears, click the Continue button. On XP and Vista, well, XP, you shouldn't see that message. Vista, yes. Seven, yes. Eight, yes. Maybe. You might see it on Vista 7 and 8. Again, the file is compressed. It may take a while for it to run and extract. Number six, follow the on-screen instructions. I think why they are warning you about UAC user account control is because these instructions were for Windows 7 because that software is compatible with Windows 7. I'm thinking that this scan or Office Jet 6480 was created around the time that obviously when Windows 7 was sold, was already being sold and on people's computers and sold with computers, etc. You could try, you could still try to download the software and try to run it on Windows XP, Windows Vista. I'm not, I don't know. I just don't know if they have backwards compatibility. It's. It doesn't say here, but you could try it. Windows 8, it should work. On Vista and XP, you might have to run it in compatibility mode. If you're not familiar with compatibility mode, I've talked about it in, in previous videos, but that's a whole different, that's a whole video in itself. If you're not familiar, you could do a Google search for compatibility mode or how to install software in compatibility mode how to install drivers in compatibility mode. I recommend you install the software using Windows XP's and Vista's compatibility wizard. Well, Windows, well, wait a minute. Windows XP, I, I don't think they had compatibility mode wizard, but definitely Vista. Because I think it's better that way. Otherwise, what happens if is you'll end up installing that software on XP or Vista and then it won't work but if you're not aware of compatibility mode then you would have to go to the program shortcut a shortcut to the actual executable right click it select properties click on a compatibility tab and then select in that drop down list which version of Windows to run in compatibility mode hence that term compatibility so if, if you're running Vista, you want to select Vista or Vista Service Pack 1 might be on that list or Vista Service Pack 2. If you're running XP, you want to run it with XP mode, but it, there might be different modes. There might be just XP. There might be XP Service Pack 1, XP Service Pack 2, XP Service Pack 3. And you might have to try all of them until you find one that works. So that's a just a caveat. If you're running Windows 7, I don't think you shouldn't have any problems about compatibility mode. No. Windows 8, I don't see why it wouldn't work. You bet you might have to use compatibility mode. And then system requirements, it doesn't have any de information. So let's go back to this blog post. Once that software is successfully installed, whew, you just breathe a sigh of relief. You're not sweating anymore. You downloaded the file, whatever. You had the installation CD. No errors. You did not hook up the printer first. You installed the software first. And then when it prompted you, you hooked up the Office Chat. Or at when the software installed, you hooked up the printer. And you actually were able to print to it. Well, this, the rest of this 
will sh could sh hopefully will show you how to scan. You can f follow instructions to scan documents to your computer. Use some following steps if your device is directly connected to a computer via a USB universal serial bus cable. When that scan is complete, a program that you have selected opens and displays that document that you have scanned. To send a scan to a program on a computer from HP Photo and Imaging Software. So, HP Photo and Imaging Software. So, th this is basically, you're going to go to the scanner and then scan and then it'll trigger the software on your computer obviously your comp as long as your computer is powered on and obviously if you've installed the s software on your computer open HP photo and imaging software to send a scan to a program on a computer from your HP office jet printer device control panel so on your actual office jet printer you have to go to the printer and then look on the control panel number one load an original on a scanner glass you either load it on the glass or if you have a scanner that has a feeder if you have an HP office jet that actually has a feeder either or doesn't matter and then number two press a scan menu or scan to button number three Press arrow keys to select a program that you want to use, such as HP Photo and Imaging Software, and then press OK. Number four, press Start Scan. These instructions were for an HP Hewlett Packard Office Jet J6480 attached to a computer running Windows XP. So if you don't have that exact HP Office Jet model, or if you don't have a HP Office Jet J series, J6400 series, I think these instructions should help you get on your way. The one caveat is if you have a different Office Jet, obviously that software is not going to probably work. It's not going to have the correct drivers. So you want to go out on the internet and look for your specific HP Office Jet model number. Let's say you have a I'm just making one up. You might have an HP Office Jet 46D 40 or 466D or whatever it is. Google it. Hopefully you will find a link to HP's website where they have their software available for download. The full version. You want to get the full version. If you just download drivers, that's only going to give you the drivers. You won't have the software. You won't have the HP imaging software. I... If this is the first time trying to scan, you're not an expert at scanning, you're a neophyte, or this is your very first time, I recommend just sticking to the HP photo and imaging software for now. It comes on CD or it'll come on a download like I showed you on that previous web page at HP. Install that software, go through the rest of the instru instructions, and stick to their software for now. When you've become proficient in it which shouldn't take that long right when you're real familiar with their software then if you don't like their software or I don't you know for whatever reason then you can go out on the internet and then use other software but but for now but a lot of HP users just stick with HP office jets photo and imaging software anyways but just for now to get the fundamentals it just makes it easier because otherwise if you go out there and try to s install some other scanning software you don't it might not work with your office jet it might not you'd have to look into what scanners it'll work with and it just might not so anyways you can always browse to inetcomputers.com for more potential tips and fixes for your most common computer problems or issues. Thank you for listening.